हाय वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला स्पैनिश आई एम राजीव सक्सेना एंड आई टीच स्पैनिश इन द सेंटर ऑफ स्पैनिश पोर्चुगीज इटालियन एंड लैटिन अमेरिकन स्टडीज इन द जवाहरलाल नेहरू यूनिवर्सिटी इन न्यू दिल्ली वी आर इन द पेपर एन टाइटल्ड इंटरमीजिएट ग्रामो एंड इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी आर गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द वर्ड फॉर्मेशन द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल इज that you will learn how compound words are formed and how the verbs are derived from nouns and vice versa a variety of word derivation and formations makes spanish one of the richest languages in the world and it is basically because of this that so many nobel prize winners in literature are from the world of spanish let us see how nouns can be formed from various verbs in spanish some nouns related to verbs consist of the verbs stem o or a aumentar to increase ayudar to help contar to count el aumento means to increase la ayuda means help and la cuenta means bill so just the nouns which are related to verbs take on the o or the a and they become the noun so i aumentar becomes aumento ayudar becomes la ayuda and contar becomes la cuenta charlar to chat dudar to doubt encontrar to meet so it is espantar to frighten these become la charla which is the chat or the talk la duda doubt el encuentro a meeting or a sports match el espanto the fright or the scare esperar to wait fracasar to fail gastar to spend and practicar to practice regresar to return and volar to fly these change in spanish as la espera waiting el fracaso failure el gasto expense la practica practice el regreso return and el vuelo the flight please take a print out from the e text part and learn these word uh, list that i am giving right now so that you can learn them and you can memorize all of them together many nouns are formed from the past participle of the verbs these can also be as the verbs stem plus the suffixes ada for ar verbs and ida for er and ir ending verbs so for example we have got bahar which is to go downstairs it becomes la bajada the way down or the decline caer to fall becomes la caída the fall comer to eat becomes la comida which means the meal or the food correr to run becomes la corrida de toros or a bull fight entrar to enter becomes la entrada or the entrance ir to go becomes la ida or the trip to somewhere llegar to arrive becomes la llegada which is the arrival so in this way we can see how each verb has its noun which is very easy to understand by putting ada or ido again in the same way mirar to look at or glance is la mirada the look or the glance salir to go out becomes la salida or the exit subir which is the verb to for going up to go up becomes la subida the way up or to rise volver to go or to come back becomes la vuelta the return or the trip back many nouns are formed from ar verbs with the suffix sion most of these have english cognates ending in shun admirar la admiracion admiration admirar la admiracion organizar la organizacion organization la organizacion invitar la invitacion invitation invitacion separar 
la separación. Separation, la separación. Note that not all English words ending in shun or sun have a Spanish equivalents ending in sion or shun. Transportation in English becomes el transporte because la transportación in Spanish is very rare. So it is el transporte in Spanish and transportation in English. The suffixes ansia and encia are used to form nouns from verbs. Most of the nouns have English cognates. Coincidir becomes la coincidencia, the coincidence, la coincidencia. Tolerar becomes la tolerancia, the tolerance, la tolerancia. Preferir becomes la preferencia, preference, la preferencia. Vigilar becomes la vigilancia, la vigilancia. So in this way we can see how these words are changing. The suffix miento is widely used to form nouns from, ad, uh, from verbs. AR verbs have the vowel a before the suffix. Both er and ir verbs have the vowel e. So agotar to exhaust which is an ar ending verb becomes el agotamiento exhaustion. Entender to understand becomes el entendimiento understanding. In the same way, we can see that forming verbs from nouns. After learning how nouns are formed from verb, let us see how the opposite works here. The suffix er is one of the most common ways to convert a noun into a verb. It can convey the impression of a repeated movement or action of the noun. So, parpado, eyelid, becomes Parpadear to blink. Parpado, eyelid, becomes parpadear to blink. Paso, step, becomes pasear to walk. Paso, the step, becomes pasear to walk. Most of these verbs can then form a noun ending in eo, el parpadeo, blinking, el paseo, the walk. Some nouns can be transformed into verbs by the prefix n plus infinitive ending ar. La cadena, chain, becomes encadenar, to chain. La máscara, mask, becomes enmascarar, to mask. El veneno, poison, becomes envenenar, to poison. Some of these verbs allow a new noun to be formed by ending by adding miento el encadenamiento it becomes chaining el encadenamiento chaining el envenenamiento poisoning el envenenamiento poisoning what happens when we form verbs from adjectives certain adjectives can be transformed into verbs by the prefix a plus infinitive ending ar Fino, which is fine, becomes afinar, to refine, to tune. Leano, flat, becomes alianar, to flatten, to level. Liso, which is smooth, becomes alisar, to smoothen. Manso, which is tame, becomes amansar, to tame, or to domesticate. So, by just putting the prefix a plus the infinitive ending ar is gives us a wide usage of words for example fino fine becomes afinar to refine liano flat becomes alianar to flatten to level liso which is smooth becomes alisar to smoothen manso which is tame becomes amansar to tame or to domesticate the suffix eser is added to the stem of some adjectives and noun to create a new verb so the eser is added to the stem of some adjectives and nouns to create a new verb. So oscuro becomes oscurecer to get dark. Palido becomes palidecer to glow pale. Like all eser verbs, the first person singular and the present subjunctive have 
ZC before the ending. So I repeat, just by putting SR, some adjectives and nouns create a new verb like oscurecer or palidecer, which means to get dark or to get pale. The example which we have used now, we are going to make it into a sentence. Temo que oscurezca antes de que Miguel uh, llegue Miguel. So I am afraid it will get dark before Miguel arrives. Temo que oscurezca antes de que llegue Miguel. So by putting oscurecer as a verb, we are making a new word which is oscurecer to become dark. I am afraid it will get dark before Miguel arrives. Temo que oscurezca antes de que llegue Miguel. Many adjectives can be made into verbs with the prefix N. M before B and P and the suffix SR. Adjectives change the C to QU before SR whose stems end in C. Triste, for example, becomes entristecer too sudden. Pobre, which is to be poor, becomes empobrecer, to impoverish. Rico, which is rich, becomes enriquecer, to enrich. So, triste, which is a noun, becomes entristecer, to sudden, a verb. Pobre, which is a noun, poor, becomes empobrecer, to impoverish. Rico, which is a noun, rich, becomes enriquecer, to enrich. So, by adding suffixes, we form new nouns also. The suffix ada can have three different meanings. A full measure of the noun, the amount that the noun holds, ado is also hold, used with some nouns. For example, la cuchara, spoon, becomes cucharada, a spoonful. La pala, a shovel, becomes la palada, a shovelful. El puño, the fist, becomes el puñado, a fistful. La boca, mouth, becomes el bocado, a mouthful. I repeat, la cucharra, which is a spoon, becomes la cucharada, a spoonful. La pala, which is a shovel, becomes la palada, a shovelful. El puño, fist, becomes el puñado, a fistful. La boca, Mouth becomes el bocado or a mouthful. A blow with the object designated by the noun. El cuchillo, the knife, becomes la cuchilla, la cuchillada, a slash made with a knife. So el cuchillo, a knife, becomes la cuchillada, a slash made with a knife. El puñal, a dagger, becomes la puñalada, a stab. La El puñal, the dagger, becomes la puñalada, a stab. La pata, the foot, becomes la patada, the kick. La pata, foot, becomes la patada, or the kick. An act typical to the object or person designated by the noun. El animal, animal, una animalada, a stupid or gross thing to do. So, El animal, una animalada, a stupid or gross thing to do. El payaso, clown, una payasada, clown like action, action worthy of a clown. El muchacho, a boy, a kid, una muchachada, a kid's prank. So, Spanish is so beautiful that by just putting a small little suffix, you can make a new verb which a lot with, with a completely different and a beautiful meaning to it so animal becomes animalada a gross thing to do payaso becomes payasada a clown like action an action worthy of a clown muchacho or a kid becomes a muchachada a kid's prank so you can see the variety that the spanish language offers to us in the same way, the suffix astro is the equivalent of English step with relatives. El elmanastro, step brother. The suffix aso, like ada, can also signify a blow with the object designated by the noun. In Latin America, aso can also be an augmentative suffix. So, 
la bala, the bullet, becomes el balazo, a shot, a bullet wound. El codo, elbow, el codazo, a nudge or a push with the elbow. Los ojos, eyes, become los ojazos, big eyes. So, in the same sense, I repeat what I'm saying, that Spanish is such a beautiful language that by using these words, you can enrich your communication a lot. By saying la bala, el balazo, it becomes a shot, a bullet wound. El codo becomes el codazo, which is a nudge, a push with the elbow, which is a completely different meaning. Los ojos, eyes, become los ojazos, big eyes. The suffix era designate the container for the object expressed by the noun. Some nouns also have ero as a suffix for this meaning. La sopa, soup, la sopera, which is the soup bowl. El pimiento, pepper, becomes el pimentero when we are referring to the pepper shaker. So, because these are the utensils or the container for the object expressed by the noun, these are used effects by the suffix era or by the ero. La sopa becomes la sopera, soup bowl. La pimienta, pepper, becomes el pimentero, the pe pepper shaker. The suffix area, derived from ero, designates the corresponding store or place of business. La librería is the bookstore. La relojería is the watchmaker's store or the watch store, etc. The suffix ero has other important functions the owner or person in charge. La cárcel, jail, has el carcelero, the jailer. El molino, the mill, has el molinero, the miller. The person who makes or sells the object denoted by the noun is also important and we can do this by putting a suffix. El libro, watch, becomes el librero, a bookseller. El reloj, the watch becomes el relojero, the watchmaker. So, it denotes the person who makes or sells the object denoted by the noun. El libro becomes el librero, the bookseller. El reloj, watch, el relojero, the watchmaker. The person found of whatever the noun designates is also expressed in this manner. El queso, cheese becomes quesero, fond of cheese or a cheese loving person, quesero, el queso. El café, coffee, becomes cafetero or fond of coffee, a coffee drinker. El café, coffee, becomes cafetero, fond of coffee or a coffee drinker. Now, let us look at the Spanish influence on English word formation. Spanish influence on the English language was particularly important in the 16th century at a time when Spain was a world military and political power in conflict with British and it gained a new momentum when Spain set foot in America. The best reflection of this influence is in the great number of Spanish loan words in present day English, especially in its American variety. So, historically speaking, because of the intimate contact of the Spanish with the English in the U United States of America, Spanish has also left an imprint and a deep impact on the English derivational morphology. And this is something that cannot be said of most other living languages such as Japanese, which also exert a significant influence on present day English. So English language has borrowed much more and has a derivational morphology which is more based from Spanish words which has been borrowed from America and Latin America. The suffixes or combining forms that betray Spanish origin include the prolific teria of cafeteria. Cafeteria is a completely Spanish word borrowed from Spanish from the cafe and cafeteria, the place with, where coffee is sold, which becomes a completely English word of cafeteria. This slangy character is also present in other American 
combining forms of recent creations such as esta fiesta which denotes extra fanfare celebration and the like like jubilesta jubilee alioresta halloween and l o c cormon pattern amongst spanish singular masculine ma nouns so by putting esta fiesta which is denoting extra fanfare for example jubilesta oloresta we are place placing more stress on the fact that there is a little bit of extra fanfare and celebration in in the word this constitutes an amusing variation of whatever is infixed el chipo cheap product still more recent is the incorporation of the spanish suffix esta to the english word stock given its novelty the discussion of its origin and specific uses and meanings in contrast with english est it would be interesting to es explore how this was done let us look at some more examples verb stem plus o or a aumentar to increase aumento el aumento to increase verb stem plus ada for ar verbs or ida for ir or er verbs bajar to go down becomes bajada the way down or the decline so by saying bajada you are talking about the way down or decline of the verb bajar of the verb caer to fall it becomes caída the fall the caer fall becomes caída the fall the ar verbs plus sion gives us words like admirar to admire admiracion admiration verb stem plus ansia and ensia becomes tolerar becomes tolerancia coincidir becomes coincidencia so i repeat that the ar verbs plus sion becomes admirar to admire becomes admiracion the admiration the verb stem plus ansia and ensia becomes tolerar for example becomes tolerancia coincidir becomes coincidencia verb stem plus a for ar verbs or i for er or er verbs plus miento agotar to exhaust becomes agotamiento exhaustion entender to understand becomes entendimiento understanding i repeat the verb stem plus a for ar verbs or i for er or ir verbs plus miento gives us a new possibility like agotar to exhaust becomes agotamiento exhaustion entender to understand becomes entendimiento understanding verb stem plus er conveys the impression of a repeated movement or action of the noun parpadeo eyelid becomes par peado becomes blink paso step becomes pasear walk i repeat the verb stem plus ar conveys the impression of the repeated movement or the repeated action of the noun parpado eyelid becomes parpeado blink paso step becomes pasear to walk n plus infinitive ending r is leads us to another set of possibilities which is cadena chain and cadenar to chain veneno poison becomes n venenar to poison so when we using n plus infinitive ending r it becomes cadena chain and cadenar to chain veneno poison becomes n venenar to poison n plus infinitive ending ar plus miento leads us to another set of possibilities like n l n cadenamiento chaining l n venenamiento poisoning l n cadenamiento n plus infinitive ending r plus miento or l n n n venenamiento the poisoning n before b and p l brujo sorcerer becomes m brujar to cast a spell over 
or to haunt. El papel paper becomes en papelar to wallpaper. So the n before b and p, el brujo sorcerer becomes en brujar to cast a spell over or to haunt. El papel paper becomes en papelar to wallpaper. A plus infinitive ending ar becomes fino, fine, afinar, to refine, to tune. Manso, to tame, becomes amansar, to tame or to domesticate. A plus infinitive ending ar becomes fino, afinar, to refine. Manso, tame, becomes amansar, to tame or to domesticate. Ada, the full measure of noun or the amount that a noun holds. La cuchara spoon is equal to la cucharada, the spoonful. Blow with the object designated by the noun. El cuchillo, knife, becomes la cuchillada, a slash made with a knife. An act typical of the object, a person designated by the noun. El animal, animal, una animalada, a stupid, gross thing to do. Astro, the English prefix step with relatives. Hermanastro, a step brother. Aso, like Ada, is a blow designated by the noun. La bala, bullet, becomes el balaso, a shot, a bullet wound. Area, on the other hand, is the corresponding store or place of business. El librero, the bookseller, becomes la libreria, the bookstore. Era or ero is the container for object expressed by the noun. La sopa, the soup, becomes la sopera or the soup bowl. It also indicates owner or person in charge. El libro, the book, becomes el o la librero or la librera, the bookseller. It also indicates a person fond of what the noun designates. El queso, cheese, becomes quesero or quesera, a cheese lover or a cheese loving person. So, to conclude, we would like to say that we have tried to cover everything about word formations in Spanish. In the advanced grammar portion, we will deal with this topic in a more detailed manner. But till then, please continue and please start communicating in Spanish using these words and these word lists that we have given over here to make your communication much better. Muchísimas gracias.